Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a slightly different kind of video for you. I recently received these. This is a pair of NYX boots. They were sent to me very generously by Ben from stitchdown.com. He had worn these, I think he said for one full day, um, he had a little adventure in the woods with these, and he sent these along for me to try out. We're going to be collaborating on something in the future. And I thought I would just give you my first impressions of these. You can see these are pretty beefy, pretty tanky boots, and I am trying them out for work. I do concrete work, construction work, pretty rough on boots, pretty rough on everything that I use in my job. And these are supposed to be some of the best made boots that you can get. They're a Pacific Northwest boot company. Nick's boots are an offshoot of White's boots. I think some employees from Nick's moved from White's, founded Nick's. They're in Eastern Washington. And they make some crazy, traditional, beefy boots. I don't know the exact model of these boots yet. I shot an email over to Ben to figure it out, and I haven't heard back from him yet. I think these are the Urban Lager, but I'm not totally sure. I'll put a picture on screen. You can see and maybe decide for yourself. I'm thinking these are around $569 new if they are the Urban Lager, so they're very expensive, um, but they should be very high quality. And so what I thought I would do in this video is just really quickly give them a little condition. They got really dirty as I was using them for work. And um, I've already kind of like wiped them down a little bit. They were just covered in dust, but I wiped them down, got the surface fairly clean so I can put some conditioner on them because they look a little dry. And obviously I'm gonna be using them in pretty ex extreme conditions. I think when winter comes, I'll put a nice waterproofing on there, maybe cold seal, not sure what I'm gonna use. But for now, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of Alden Fine Boot Cream. And I'm just gonna condition these and talk a little bit about what I have experienced wearing these, I've had them for two days now at work, and typically at work I just wear cheap hiking boots because, like I said, I'm really rough on boots, they don't last very long, but you know, if I spend $40 on a pair of hiking boots and they last me a year, then I consider that pretty good. These should last a lot longer than that, but how are they as far as comfort, just utility, wearing these for work? So, let me just get going with this. I've already taken the laces out. They come with these nice leather laces. And I'm just gonna use some Alden Fine Boot Cream. And as I do this, I'm just gonna discuss these boots with you. Like I said, I think they are the Urban Lager, but I'm not entirely certain about that. And NYX makes all sorts of different models, all sorts of different boots. They were primarily workwear, but they've expanded more into kind of fashion boots recently. There's been a big uptick in people liking to wear handmade, American-made, really good, high-quality boots. And, you know, NYX, Whites, Wesco, Viberg, all of these brands have kind of benefited from that. And kind of to our detriment to a little bit, too, because if you ever want a pair of these boots, you usually have to wait a very long time because there's such a waiting list for these. But since Ben was generous enough to send these along to me, I actually get a chance to try them out, which is super nice. I should just say right off the bat that these are extremely heavy. For me, someone who's used to wearing hiking boots for work, it was a big adjustment to put these on and work a whole day in them. And it actually ended up kind of hurting my ankles a little bit, which I found interesting. I wasn't expecting that. My ankles just were sore after wearing these, and I can only assume it's just because of the weight of the boot. These are a 10 and a half, and I thought that if I ever got, you know, Nicks or Whites or anything like that, I would have to size down. I'm typically a 10 and a half in like athletic shoes or dress shoes, but for instance, I have some Alden Indie boots and I have a 10 in those. And I thought it would be the same with these Pacific Northwest boots. But surprisingly, these do seem to fit okay. They could maybe be slightly smaller, but I'm not totally convinced about that. It seems like maybe the 10 and a half is actually the right size for me. So these are also so beefily built, you know, just layer after layer of leather in here. 
Um, I'm going to be doing a full review review of these eventually, maybe collaborating with Ben from Stitchdown. And once I do that, I'll know the exact model, I'll know everything about them. But for now, I'm not sure if they have a steel shank or if it's a leather shank. Not sure about any of that. And if whether or not these were a custom pair of boots, because there are so many options when you order boots from NYX, you can do all sorts of different things. They do have that big beefy Viberg 100 lug there. Um, so these aren't the kind of boots that I would wear outside of work, really. I know some people do, and if they're called the Urban Logger, then I'm guessing they're kind of positioning them as boots that people would wear in a city. But for me, these are a little bit too bulky and beefy for that. So first impressions, they were heavy. Second, they're, there was a lot of support, but then when I would crank them down, you know, I'd put them on and I'd tighten the vamp, the laces around the vamp. Um, and then if I tightened the eyelets up the ankle the same amount, it was a little painful. So there was a lot of kind of balancing how tightly I wanted to lace these on my feet. They feel kind of hard in the insole. I've heard that it takes weeks and weeks of pretty hard wear to actually get these to break into your foot. But in spite of that, after one day of wearing them, didn't really feel anything at all. It felt fine. After two days, I was having a little bit of toe pain, interestingly enough. Not a lot, and it wasn't too bad. But that's something that I kind of noticed. I was expecting it to be worse. I was expecting my feet to just be wrecked after wearing these for two days. And, you know, when I'm at work, I'm on my feet the entire time, and I'm walking on uneven terrain. It's not the most, um, it's not the nicest for your feet. My job, anyway. But surprisingly little pain. So that was a nice surprise. Um, as far as just the utility of these, I haven't worn them in the rain yet. I've just worn them over kind of really dry, really dusty, uneven ground. I'm assuming, you know, they're not going to be totally waterproof, and I probably will condition them with something else before I really start getting into some rainy days, which are inevitable in the Pacific Northwest. But I'm expecting them to hold up pretty well, and I'm not going to be wading through mud puddles or anything like that. But I just feel like the way these are built, the way they feel, I mean, just look at this stacked leather heel. This is all pure stacked leather. They have, you know, part of the rubber outsole here, the Viberg rubber. But then there's a leather midsole, leather insole, leather outsole, like everything. Well, not outsole, the actual outsole is the Viberg. But they are just so beefily made. I don't know if you can see the double stitching around the toe. I think these are... I can't remember exactly what they call um, the welting on this because it doesn't go all the way around the back because otherwise you would have a really thick lip along the back of the heel. But these are totally recraftable. You can even send them to NYX to have them remade or completely refurbished. I wish I could tell you exactly how much they weigh in the hand. I would say at least a couple pounds each, maybe more like three pounds each. These are just such beefy beefy boots. Just trying to distribute some of this boot cream so it's not getting built up in some of the cracks and crevices and seams. And then we'll give them a quick brush with a horsehair brush. And that'll be pretty much it. I'm not going to go too crazy with these right now. I do want to make sure I take care of these because they are such nice boots. Actually, maybe I'll rub them out first. Um, so I'm using cedar shoe trees because basically since they are my boots for work, I'm wearing them pretty much every day except for poor days when I'm wearing uh, rubber boots or muck boots. And, you know, if you're sweating, which I am when I'm working, you could really deteriorate the leather in there. So I want to be careful about that. Ideally, you would have a couple pairs of boots that you could rotate one, one day on, one day off. Um, but I'm using cedar shoe trees to try to dry them out. 
at the end of the day um, and also to keep them from creasing too crazily in the toe. I am extremely impressed just with the fit and finish and feel of these boots. They, I expected them to be kind of clumsier looking, if you know what I mean, and I don't mean that as an insult, but I just thought they would look a little more rough and ready. But these look great, in my opinion. Again, not really a style that I would wear out and about, but for work, they look fantastic. And you know, your mileage may vary. You might really enjoy these as a daily wear, non-work boot. And I think that's what they're kind of marketed for and as. So there's one done. Looking pretty good. They clean up pretty nicely. I put quite a few of these scuffs on myself, but they already had a few scuffs when I got them. But not bad for having gone through the ordeal of being worn by a concrete worker for two days straight. We'll see how these look in a month or so, and I think that's when I'm going to be doing the full review. For now, I am super impressed. I'm really looking forward. I've wanted to try a pair of Pacific Northwest boots for a long time. I would love a pair of Wesco's, I think they're called the Boss. They're like their engineer boots. I would really like to try some of those. I'd like to try whites. I'd like to try more models of the Nyx boots. The problem with all these boot makers though is that they are so popular and I think they just have more orders than they can deal with that there isn't much chance that they're gonna want to collaborate with somebody because they don't need the advertisement. And so, you know, I can't afford to buy three different pairs of Pacific Northwest boots for $500 each. That's just not going to happen. So it was really cool that Ben sent these along for me to try. Let me just show you the boot completed. They have this really nice tongue here that completely covers over under the eyelets and everything. Um, you can get those kilties for these two, the little false tongues that you can put down the front. I don't know that I necessarily need that because this keeps all the dust out really well. That's one thing I would say after wearing my hiking boots for a day in the, the site that we're working on right now, it is so dusty that I take my boots off and my socks are just filled with dust. Didn't have any issues like that with these. When I would take these off, my socks were clean. Might be a little sweaty, but they were clean. So I'm really impressed with these. They're super heavy. They're not super comfortable yet, but I'm assuming they're going to get much more comfortable as I wear them. And I'm kind of used to putting up with things being uncomfortable in order to break them in. And these aren't that bad in that regard anyway. They already feel pretty good. So in about a month or so, I should be doing a full review for you and you'll be able to see how these have held up to the rigors of concrete construction work. And we'll hopefully hear from our good friend Ben from stitchdown.com as well during that review. But for now, NYX boots. I'm super impressed, and I think they're gonna hold up to construction work very well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.